In this video, we're going to look at how to open the next period. So from the setup and maintenance, we can either go into general ledger. So if I go to financials, general ledger, open first period. So I can actually open my first period from here and you cannot go back and change the first accounting period. So once you've opened it, it will stay open. It's usually best to open a period which will allow you to do uh, the first period which will allow you to put in your transactions from your legacy system. So I, it could be something like the opening trial balance. So I'm gonna submit this process and while this is running to open the period, I'm going to take you into the screen that allows you to maintain your periods, which is from the general accounting uh, manager. So if I click on the home icon and I go to general accounting, I can see my period close. So you can see that my um, I can view by, uh, by ledger sets, by single ledgers, and this is the current period, which is July 2018, saying that it's never opened. I can see all the other sub-ledgers as well. And if there's any outstanding subledger transactions, which we haven't got any, we shouldn't have any because we haven't transacted at all. We can see them here as well. And also what something I didn't mention is that you could also go into the top and change the uh, ledger set to the uh, Acme ledger or what, whichever ledger that you want. Let's go to accounting period. So let's go to actually still trying to open the first period. So let's have a look at our scheduled process to see the status of our period being opened. So we can see that it's opened the GL periods, carrying forward sub ledger accounting balances. So it's all looking good so what i'm going to do is go to my general accounting select my period close and change this period to the first period which is january 18 and you can see that that's open if I want to open subsequent periods, let me just go to my current period, which is July 2018. So July 2018, you can see that it's never opened. You can also see that for the sub-ledgers, they're never opened. So I'm gonna select July 18, which is not open. You can see that only the first period is open and the next period is not so i'm going to go to my actions and open a target period so actions open target period and i want to open july 18 and that will open all the earlier periods that have never been open if i select yes and that will submit the program to open all those periods for my Acme Ledger US. I can do it for multiple ledger sets based upon the access that I have. So that's how to open the periods. And we can now see that July 18 is now open. So if I go back to my periods, you can see all the periods that are now open. So I click on done. 
So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.